What is significant about this deployment is this brigade combat team is bringing all their equipment from the states. It is enabling us to build additional readiness within the United States Army and also readiness within our NATO allies. By bringing their equipment from home station, you're able to see the complexity of this operation. The ships on both sides of us were able to exercise the strategic lines of communication. We're able to exercise all that it takes working with our allies to have freedom of movement and speed of assembly so we can move where needed to ensure we are ready to maintain the peace and deter any potential adversaries. The Obama administration is boosting the American military presence in Europe to deter potential Russian aggression. Thanks and other tanks and other weapons have just arrived in Bremerhaven, Germany. Starting today, they will be moved to Poland. Elizabeth Palmer spoke to commanders about the buildup. Good morning. Since the end of the Cold War, the United States has been steadily drawing down its military presence in Europe. But here in northern Germany right now, you can see that's no longer the case. In fact, it's quite the opposite. All the massive hardware of a combat brigade arrived in Germany over the weekend and started rolling east toward Poland, where 4,000 American soldiers will be waiting for it. This is the first buildup of American soldiers and weapons in Europe in nearly 30 years. This impressive display of military might is designed in large part to reassure America's nervous European allies that the U.S. military will be there standing with them against Russian aggression. Aggression and land grabs, like the 2014 invasion of Crimea, when Russian troops landed in what had been Ukraine and seized it for the Kremlin. America's response has been to increase both its own force in Europe and its support of NATO, though President-elect Donald Trump has called NATO obsolete and says he wants to restore good relations with Russia. Major General Timothy McGuire. How quickly could the new president, uh, as a gesture of goodwill to Russia, turn this whole thing around and pull you all out again? Uh, I'm not going to speculate on what the uh, incoming president may or may not do, but I will tell you uh, this is in the interest of the United States uh, Army to build readiness. The commander-in-chief could reverse all this, but it would take months or even years. Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin has already implied this build-up is pointless. It's stupid and unrealistic, he said, to think that Russia would attack anyone. But the American military and its NATO allies believe a little extra deterrence won't hurt. Once the new combat brigade has reached its final destination in Eastern Europe, it will start large multinational military exercises with the armies of other NATO countries. Nora? Then they decided it was time to invest in 